ovarian malignancies the patients of ovarian malignancies generally present in advanced stages because it remains asymptomatic till late stages surgery is the primary line of treatment at any stage if malignancy is confirmed either clinically or by gross appearance or by frozen section then the treatment is total hysterectomy with bilateral salpingo oophorectomy with omentectomy samples from the peritoneal fluid are taken for cytology from the paracolic gutters and pouch of douglas and lymph node biopsy from retroperitoneal glands and paraortic glands are taken to stage the disease stage 1 and stage 2 are treated by surgery followed by radiotherapy but stages 3 and 4 should be treated by surgery followed by chemotherapy combination chemotherapy is given with actinomycin d 5 fluorouracil and cyclophosphamide that is acfusi or vac that is vincristine adriamycin and cyclophosphamide second look surgery is done in cases of ovarian malignancy after chemotherapy and after radiotherapy to see the effectiveness of treatment and for debulking surgery or to complete the surgery if primary surgery is incompletely done specific ovarian tumors these germinoma and lymphomas respond well to chemotherapy while dermolysis to radiotherapy now we will consider some special conditions ovarian tumors associated with pregnancy generally these are dermoid cysts or serous cystadenomas complications like torsion rupture or infection are more commonly seen during pregnancy and puberty the principles for treatment of such tumors are tumor less than 5 to 6 cm and cystic is treated conservatively if tumor is detected in the first 3 months of pregnancy then wait till 16 weeks for the formation of placenta then laparotomy is done for ovariotomy or ovarian cystectomy tumor can be removed safely between 16 to 28 weeks of pregnancy after 28 weeks tumor is pushed up or in flanks so surgery is difficult so surgery is done after delivery tumor obstructing labor is treated by cesarean section with ovarian cystectomy complicated tumor should be treated immediately irrespective of duration of pregnancy now let us consider the terminologies used in connection with ovarian surgery when a normal ovary is removed surgically it is termed as oophorectomy when an ovary with a cyst is removed then it is ovariotomy and when only cyst is removed from the ovary then it is termed as ovarian cystectomy